The cost of BYD's Blade batteries is already staggeringly low. Data revealed by Bloomberg NEF says that their batteries have come down in price from around 91 US dollars per kilowatt hour to $53 per kilowatt hour over the past 12 months. That's a fall of around 51%. It's just absolutely insane. However, they could be about to get even cheaper, but not just cheaper, even better. There's in fact not one Blade battery version 2, as I previously thought. There's actually two different versions of BYD's new Blade battery. And the really cool thing is they're kind of designed for different things. Do you want really, 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 really insanely fast charging? One of their batteries can charge nearly three times faster than the existing Blade battery. Or do you just want very high energy density? There's an option for everyone, I guess you could say, now that they have three different types of blade batteries. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. I'm, I'm actually genuinely excited now that I know that these, these two new batteries are out. So what are the details about them? How will they improve EVs? Because honestly, you probably want to know this information in the future over the next couple of years. Lots of BOD models are going to be coming to different markets around the world, especially places like Australia, but also many other countries, Brazil, uh, Europe as well, Thailand, especially many, even Japan, Malaysia, many markets. And when you buy one of these cars, you want to know which of these batteries, because in the future, you're probably going to have a choice of three different batteries from BYD. If you buy a car and you don't know what battery you're getting, it's kind of stupid. Like it's the most important part of the car, right? So here are the details. First of all, BYD is targeting a 15% reduction in the cost of their new Blade batteries. How is that even possible, right? The price has already come down so much, but they're targeting an additional reduction in cost, 15%. That's a pretty significant number. When will that happen? Well, they say these new batteries, their second gen batteries will launch in the first half of 2025. As I mentioned earlier, there will be two different versions of their new Blade Battery 2.0. One of them will have a very, very high energy density of 210 watt hours per kilogram. That's one of the highest energy density lithium ion phosphate batteries on the, on the market worldwide. BYD have really taken it to an entirely new level with that battery. It has 16C peak discharge. Now I'll explain what that means in a minute. The other version of their battery is going to be very similar to Geely's battery, the Aegis short blade battery. So BYD's other battery, which has lower energy density, is a short blade battery. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, why make a short blade battery? It's about half the length of a traditional blade battery. Well, the reason is because charging speed, that's why. The energy density of the short blade battery though is much, much lower than the other battery. It's only 160 watt hours per kilogram. Now 160 watt hours per kilogram is, you know, it's fairly low to be honest for an LFP battery, but it is a bit higher than the current blade battery, which is estimated to be around 150 watt hours per kilogram. However, it does have some huge advantages over the existing blade battery, which is charging speed. It has a maximum discharge rate of 16C and it has an 8C charge rate. So it can charge about two to three times faster than the average blade batteries in EVs today. So if you're wondering what C rate is, it, it's an, kind of a confusing thing, but C rate is a measure, says Car News China, of how quickly a battery charges or discharges relative to its total capacity. It tells you how many times a battery can in theory, with the right charger, the right temperature, charge within an hour. So an average of, if you say looked at a battery that has one C charging, that means it would take 60 minutes to charge the battery. Two C would mean 30 minutes because it can charge the battery twice in one hour. Eight C means the battery can charge eight times in an hour, or in other words, it can charge in 7.5 minutes. Assuming being able to maintain charging speed or peak power or whatever it is. But anyway, BYD is giving us these numbers and they're saying it has 8C charging or it can charge in seven and a half minutes. That's the short blade battery with the lower energy density. The battery that has the 210 watt hours per kilogram, the much higher energy density, that charges significantly slower. It charges at 3C. So that battery charges in 20 minutes. So pretty big difference, right? The lower energy density battery, 7.5 minutes, the much Higher energy density battery takes 20 minutes. Interesting trade-off, isn't it? Which, which battery would you choose for your EV? I mean, 
If everything was equal and you were say buying an electric car with an 80 kilowatt hour battery, same size battery in both cars, one of them could charge insanely fast, seven and a half minutes to get from, I don't know if this is zero to 80% or zero to 100%, but it's really fast. The other one is gonna take 20 minutes, but the one with the slower charging is gonna give you a lot more range. So which one would you prefer? A lot more range or much, much faster charging? It's interesting, it's gonna be this choice. Keep in mind as well, BYD won't stop, probably won't stop selling the old blade battery. So there'll be three options. The old blade battery, which is the existing blade battery, that will be very likely to be significantly cheaper than these two batteries. That's what I predict will happen. BYD plans to reduce the cost of their higher energy density battery by 15% compared with their current blade battery. The blade battery currently has 150 watt hours per kilogram of energy density as per Car News China. So here's what BYD actually said. The lower energy density short blade battery version has a higher charge and discharge rate due to reduced resistance, a shorter battery. And it will be priced similarly to the current generation blade battery or slightly higher. This is because production is challenging to scale and BYD has limited leverage over suppliers as some critical components are manufactured by only a few companies that hold the upper hand even over BYD. Interesting to hear that. The battery price war is moving to the upper segment. CATL or CATL slashed the price of, of its batteries over the past 12 months and BYD has had to follow suit. Here's what a source of from BYD actually said. CATL, who are the biggest battery company in the world, is strong with premium NMC batteries. So nickel, manganese, cobalt batteries, like what you get in most Teslas. And as they move to the lower segment of cheaper LFP batteries, we have to counter pressure by offering premium LFP batteries that compete with NMC, but for LFP prices. So BYD is saying that they will sell their advanced LFP batteries for their current LFP prices. And they're aiming to reduce the price of their high energy density version by 15%. That would mean in the future that say a car like the BYD Seal could potentially have a range of 800 plus kilometers for pretty much the same price, maybe even cheaper than what they are today. According to Goldman Sachs research, battery prices are expected to fall by around 50% more by 2026. The average price decline at the pack level, not the cell level, but the pack level from 153 US dollars per kilowatt hour in 2022 to 149 in 2023. But by the end of this year, Pack prices have fallen to 111 US dollars, but pack prices will fall further to 80 US dollars by 2026. However, as I mentioned before, sell prices are already down to $53 per kilowatt hour. A source from BYD went on to say this, everybody talks about the EV automaker price war, but no one talks about the battery makers price war, which is even more brutal. For example, one of our customers meets battery cell supplies every month to renegotiate the price, the source concludes. Now you can imagine that's probably Tesla, seeing as they're one of the, well, they are the biggest, still the biggest EV manufacturer in the world. And I'm sure that they would be, you know, negotiating with battery companies constantly to get the lowest price as possible. Now I would have to counter this source's claims from BYD to say nobody talks about the battery makers price war because I knew all the time, every single month. In fact, sometimes even weekly, I talk about this, this reality because it doesn't just affect electric cars, it affects everything else, it affects energy storage, it affects many, many parts of the global economy. Now initially, BYD's blade battery, when it was first launched in 2020, had an energy density of 140 watt hours per kilogram. That was increased to 150 watt hours per kilogram. Now they've hit 160 watt hours per kilogram for the ultra fast charging version, but 210 watt hours per kilogram for the solar charging version. You can imagine that by 2030, the energy density will have continued to increase. And that will mean therefore that BYD's electric cars or other EVs using BYD batteries will have significantly more range than they do today.